somebody, somebody's coming in the daytime today. The dollies all look like they're falling over. Everybody's at a funny angle. There's Lorelei there falling over. There's Marlise at a strange angle. And there's Kiona, and Natalia, Morgana, Holly, Marzarelle. Our first, and here's little somebody. Maya, here's little somebody. Zasu, the positive weed. Oh, I think he's so cute. Oh, he came the other day from Loads for You. There's a little clover as well. That's so cute. Oh, he's my, my favourite character. There's the penguin. And here's the snail who thinks he's a slug with a shell. You can get slugs with shells. And I got this, these from Poundland. I don't know why I don't know where the things but I love him. Zasu, look, he's even got little feet. He's so cute. He came the other day. I have to have things sent to my friend's house, so it's a bit difficult for me to get anything, but I just had to have Zasu. I want the dust particle as well, but they didn't have him. Oh, look, such a sweet little thing, he's so soft. Oh. So I one of these in the car, hot one. It's the first Barbie I've seen with green in her hair, which um, I wish they did one with properly green hair. I don't like that outfit at all. At least she's got high heels, though. Not that keen on her face, but she's all right. I like the earrings. Don't like this sporty top. So here's my new girl. I love the green in her hair, but I wish it was like extended more to the front as well. I don't like the top knot. Not totally keen on her face. Her eyebrows are too thick for my liking. I don't like a great big smile. I, l I would would like the top if it didn't have this 59 that sporty theme. I like the way that the pattern extends around the back. I like the fact that she's got high heels, and I would like—I like that sparkle and glitter, but I just the iridescent effect. I like that, but I'm not keen on the sporty thing. But yeah, she's the first one I've got of the 2019 fashionistas. I love her earrings, and I love that green hair. I just wish it was more all the way round and noticeable, and that she had a more edgy sort of face and look. But she's a nice dolly. As they always are. Oh, nice dollies. I'll think of a name for her. I don't know what yet, but we'll think of something. There she is amongst the other dollies, not named yet, but never fear, she will be named. And um, on the back of the box, this one I definitely want, that lovely one with the afro. Yeah, I can't wait to get this one. And where is she? There's another one I, I would like as well. I can't, I'll probably end up with most of them, but. Where's the one with the long... I'm ha hopefully get that one. But where's the one with long pink hair? Um, there's one with long pink hair, but it doesn't... There she is. Doesn't really show up much on here. And um, she looks a bit nondescript here, but she is actually very nice in the pictures I've seen of her. So, yeah, I'd like this one. Number... What number is that? One... Oh, gosh. 109. 109. And 105. I definitely want this lovely one. I thought I might call this one Nadia. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to call her Esmeralda, only because it's like similar to Emerald. And I've got a, I've got a dolly called Emerald. One of the Madison Mycene dolls is called Emerald, so I don't want two with the same name. So yeah, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. I wish she had more green in her hair, but she's okay. Well, I've taken her hair down, so I've made it look better now. And when it's flattened down a bit, because I'm not keen on those top knot bits, and it gave her too solid blackness at the front, and you couldn't see the green in the front. So now we can see her hair streaks, and as it settles, that's going to look... I hope it doesn't hide her earrings. But, um, yeah, I sort of made her look a lot nicer now, so I like her more now, that she's got um, the green showing more in her hair. Because it's lovely. I would prefer a bright green, sort of similar to that colour, but still better than nothing. There she is with her hair flattened, 
And um, this is going to look a lot nicer when you can see the green in it. I like a dolly with hair and all this colour, like a pro proper true grass green, not that sort of bluish green that this is. I mean, a proper green, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Now, this is the sort of green I'm talking about, if Mattel's listening, which they're probably not. That sort of green, a proper bright grass green, like it's a lovely, more of a yellowy green, not the bluish green that that is, but... I'm not going to complain because it's been so long to wait. I know I've got my dolly I called Ar Ariel. Ariel, um, that's a fairy doll. She's got sort of greenish hair, like a greyish greenish hair. But yeah, a bright, because that is t more sort of this colour, which is like a turquoise. You want a bright green, like so, like, like this. Come on, Mattel, please. Yeah, let's pretend that this is hair. This is hair from a new Barbie. Only it isn't, of course. It's uh, on an oldie pack. See, this is the sort of green they've gone with. It's on this. This is the sort of green we want in that mint, and this is the sort they've gone with. That sort of bluish green. Now I want a bright green, a bright lemony green, but mainly green. I promise this will be the last comparison and example. This is what I call green, a proper green, not that bluish green, but. As I've said, better than nothing, but please, next time, a green, real, a real green. She looked like she had a slight bold spot when her hair was parted in the middle, so I've parted it on the side now. <coughs> she looks slightly different again now, with um, I do prefer it parted in the, the middle, but you see she's got a bold patch there now, that's the trouble. You can see that little bold patch. But this is sort of the more the colour it is. This is a minty bluish green, isn't it? It's not like a proper green. I know I keep on about it, but I would like to see a Barbie with a proper green green hair, proper green. So I'm going to have to put that back over this side. <coughs> Hang on, I'm going to have to put it back over. So I got woken up early this morning by the neighbour banging drums next door and then and I tried to get back to sleep and couldn't and then he had his electric guitar going, it's a one man band. And um I phoned the environmental department but they don't want to know. Everything's useless. But um <coughs> so yeah, that's uh Oh dear. So yeah, I'm pleased with this dolly, but I just wish that we had one with proper green hair. Well, I've got natural daylight today because it's um, brighter out and I was woken up early by the second day in a row. I mean, he had his television on all night, which he probably goes to sleep with, and then he's up early in the morning with music blaring out and he's also got a drum kit in there, which he hammers away at, and an electric guitar, which he plugs in from time to time, which I like music, but I don't want, even if it was something I really liked, I don't want to hear it in every single room in my house, even if I'm outside in the path of the door shut when it's affecting, it's impacting on my mental health and, it, yeah, the environmental health department are absolutely, oh, that's, anyhow, I know you don't want to hear any of my problems and um, I'm just showing you this dolly in the, the webcam, Esmeralda, I've named her, let me just turn the light on, just in case it makes a difference, just in case it makes a difference. And unfortunately, this is not what I'd call a proper teal mint green. Similar, it's more like this than a proper, I mean, I'd rather have like, a, you know, a proper green. I've got, yeah, I'll show you something else in a minute. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen enough already. But, um, and I'm sorry if you can hear, I've only got this little radio on because I haven't got enough power points to have my bigger system, my radio on. But uh, even that doesn't drown out the sound from next door. It's only just got momentarily gone quiet in there. So that's why I'm trying to take the advantage of being a bit quieter to show you this lovely dolly. I like her shoe. There's her shoes. At least they're high-heeled ones. 
as I said, I like the top, but I don't like the number on it. If it, the number wasn't on it and it was more fitted, it would look nice because it's all got holographic, iridescent, holographic effects on it. And there's her hair. See? Very nice. It's the nearest we're going to get to a green from Mattel, I think. And uh, so she's a very pretty dolly. So this video, a bit, this haul, will be more or less mainly concerned with this lovely dolly. Though I have got something else. Hang on. Oh, my lovely Smiko Garashi bag. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. And it smells nice. Oh, it smells lovely too. I haven't smelt this smell since I was a kid. This lovely, this sort of plasticky, new plastic smell. Maybe it's banned in this country now. I don't know. But oh, look at it. so, they're so cute. I can't see little Hikori, the dust particle. He's one of my favourite characters. Where's the plant, Zasu? He's, I think he's my favourite of all. Positive weed. There he is. You can just see him there. It's like a little outline. Where's my finger? There, there he is. There he is. <laughs> With a cat, Neko, who's his friend. This is so adorable. So, yeah. Lovely. I'm going to get another one, I think, in case, because you know what it's like when things get damaged or they start to wear off. But um, it's, it's so nice to get another one that I've got safely in store. Lovely. Right, here's the dolly's hair, the green, and this is more the green I would like it to be. I mean, um, this is more what I call a proper green. So if her hair was more that colour, like a lighter, more true green, here we are, like this. I think you get the idea, you know what I mean now. <laughs> but and I look at her, she's so nice. The other one, I'm, the two I want in this new line of fashion is, I should probably get most of them, but the the one with the afro and the yellow striped dress and the pretty one with the long pink hair and the pretty leopard print sum, summer type dress, which is really pretty. Now, the dress is lovely and the hair's nice, but whereas, um, I don't like these oversized sporty things, but I do like the holographic and I love those shoes. So, yeah, she's a nice dolly. How many more times do I have to say? <laughs> Just showing you some of the outfits I've made from balloons for, that I got from Tesco for a pound. I made this outfit for Raquela. Oh, I've put the light out again now, so we probably need it on to look at this. And this skirt for um, Tania here. See, so that's... Um, looks quite like a dress the top is not that successful the skirt looks okay there's still a bit too you've got the shape of the balloon i suppose so that, so it's not quite fitted in enough as it should be and she's got a little headband i've made for her as well and a bracelet and uh and this is well tanya's skirt um that's, that's like a sort of a leather skirt she's got on you see so that's okay. It's not perfect, but um, it just shows what you can do with some of, some of these uh, balloons. I always remember something after I've turned everything off. But um, yeah, this skirt I also made for uh, Natalia here. And this dress for this Vanessa dolly. See? It, well, it's, it's a skirt and a top, actually, that she's got on. Oh dear, we are a bit washed out, aren't we? I don't know why, because she's in a light colour, but so, oh, yeah. Well, and a bracelet I made for her as well from a small white balloon that I got from um, Home Bargains. Natalia and Artania. 
They've had their day out in the garden for strange days in the garden video. And there's their friend there. I used to get these in the 99 pence store, but these are a pound in Asda, and they're quite nice. Yeah, in the dark. We are in the dark. These are on special offer in Asda at the moment. My cereal that I get, usually from Waitrose, it's £3 in Asda at the moment. I hope that means... I hope that doesn't mean they're not going to stop doing it. It often does, I'm afraid. I like this. At last! I've been stood here ages just waiting for this thing to start okay where's the right position for it this is the preliminaries do we need more light yeah it's washing things out we may need more light I think that's marginally better, a little bit better. Be still, my beating biscuit label. They look nice, and I like the tin. That's what I call a proper green. That's the <laughs> colour that doll's hair should be. I've got this. Ah, mouse. Let me show you. It's a nice little thing. My friend used to have one of these. Totally worked as well until he dropped it in the cat's drinking dish. And uh, you don't hear it, of course, cause, but the mice do. Stops them coming into my... And I've made a little thing out of wire that was from a Barbie doll. I always keep things like this, and I've made it into that shape so that that goes in there. And then I just hook the back over a cardboard box, which is on the floor, which has got... Like a box of nail polish. There we look, an old boots box. You don't see that. I just hook it in like so in the back and then I just hang it over a box of nail polish and then that stands on the floor. Are we going to light up? Come on, he lights up every... There we go, every eight seconds to show you he's still working. And of course, I could have it in a taller box. I don't have to have it in a short box. I could put it in like a taller box uh, taller box 
like so. I'll leave it in there for now. I'll put him in there for now. I'll put him in there for now. Oh. Okay, okay, I've got this from Asda. Um, what are we called? Something candy. Bubble ca Vanilla candy. Vanilla candy. And it's quite nice. So it smells quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, sometimes I say quite nice. I got this nice skirt. So another nice from Marks and Spencers. Everything is animal print at Marks and Spencers at the moment. From you know, even though they're quite a staid establishment for clothes, everything is everything is animal print of some description or another. I mean, I'm not totally mad on animal print. I sometimes think it's a bit tacky looking, but looks a bit tacky. It depends what it is, but I've got this little skirt. I'll try it on for you, but um, I don't know if we're going to be able to see everything, and I've got to be careful how I move this or the monitor lead comes out of the laptop. We need to go down a bit, I think, for you to see this. And, of course, then that's in the way. I'll try it on for you anyway. But, um, yeah, they've got everything from jumpers, blouses, cardigans, skirts, dresses. Just about everything in animal print. Um, but this is quite nice. Can I, I get back a little bit when you can see the length? Sorry about the total, total inadequacy. But you know what it's like when you have got no money and I've had a oh the stress recently with I've still got slight bronchitis or asthma. I keep coughing and my chest feels all tight. But the I've been, the disturbance I've had all the week from the neighbour next door. And yesterday he must have gone to bed early because he was up at quarter to eight in the morning with music blaring out. I had to bang on the wall twice and the only he, second time, I mean I shouted and then he did stop it. But the Environmental Health Department, what they're there for, I don't know. Because they don't seem to... This woman says to me, this case was closed two years ago. I said, two years ago? I said, well, this is a new... Oh, that was something that they were doing two years ago. We're talking about now. It's ridiculous. And no, there's no help for people. I mean, you know, OK, I can tolerate a certain amount of him banging on his drum, drum kit, or plugging in his electric guitar when he feels like it but in the week this was from nine o'clock in the morning Qu no quarter to yeah half past eight in the morning so the situation is if he's up all night fry ups in the middle of the night or he's up all night banging about and making a noise well then I've got to be awake as well because I can't sleep through it and but if he decides to go to bed early and then he wants to get up early making a noise I, I have to be able to go to bed at night and then go straight to sleep like he probably can but I can't because I can't sleep at, uh, properly at night for some reason probably I mean, I'm not online all night anymore like I used to be so I'm trying to follow the good advice and go to bed as soon as I get in and not put a screen on to look at anyway I'm babbling and rambling I got this from Asda four pound this is a P PJ set. Now I don't wear things like this normally. I don't. Uh, if it had been a long nighty, but I don't really like pajama things. I don't feel comfortable with them on. But I do like the top. Can we see it? You could wear this as a blouse, couldn't you? Everyone saying no, you couldn't. Well, actually, you could because I don't. Uh, what is this? Two two piece set. So it was reduced from fifteen pound to four. And it was, it was the only one they had, and it was in my size, which was amazing. So, um, as usually, the only sizes they ever have left in stores are the tiny, very small sizes, or the extra large ones, but um, all the medium ones seems to go. But they had it, and it, I think it's jolly nice. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I shall wear it as a nightshirt sh top, but you could wear that as a blouse first before you start wearing it in bed, because I think that's very pretty. Very pretty. Now, from Starbucks. Oh, what's this? 
I got some things from Starbucks. Oh, and I got that from Asda as well, a pen. Nice fluffy pen. As if I haven't got enough fluffy pens, I know I've... Oh, I'll, also from Asda. Huh. Doctor Who magazine. But um, let's get these things out. I've got this stuff back. Very nice. You know, I collect mugs amongst other things. I collect so many things. That's why I've got no space to move in my my abode because I collect. Oh, all, all you'll hear is rustle, rustle, rustle. If you did that that well too. Well, that's nice. We should be listening to this. It's a food program on the background, but it will be repeated Monday afternoon. That's that one. Now, I've got one of these permanent, I mean, you know, travel mugs, but it's a heavy one. So I can't see me taking this around with me. Because, you know, I've got that heavy one with central perk on it. It's far too heavy to take around. If um, That's only when you want... I say I don't need to take it into the actual cafe anymore because i mean or the coffee shop because they um i always have it in a cup when i'm in there so i'm not using a plastic mug because you only need those if you you go take away but anyway i've got that i'll just take i've got the ordinary plain white one and i've got this one as well which was one of the pound ones but that was one of their christmas ones when they first had this a bit of history lesson here when they first had that mermaid logo about 100 years ago, whenever it was, she was totally topless. You could see her her chest in all its glory. And um, But nowadays, we're more prudish, so they're not allowed to show that, of course. But uh, so You're not allowed to show something that's natural, not today, because natural, in our day and age, is totally frowned upon. I'll leave you to ponder that thought. Let's just look at something unnatural which is a Bratz dolly, <laughs> but very nicely unnatural, I might say. I would get her some earrings. So annoys me when they haven't got earrings. Anyhow, let me just focus on these. I forgot to show you those. I wore one out yesterday, just a plain white one, because of all the smoke pollution everywhere. There's a low chimney opposite me and the smoke that comes out of it. But with these, you get a black one as well, and I like the idea of wearing a black one. And they've got nice blues. The whites, obviously. Pink ones. And these lovely green ones. Really nice, pretty, pale green. So as you can get these boxes in all different colours, I wonder why most of the people in Japan just wear the plain white ones. Because perhaps that's all they can get over there. I think maybe in the... Uh, my friend in London tells me that people wear these all the time up there, or well, the white ones, presumably. But the, the, everywhere in the country needs to be wearing face masks for pollution. Not just that, but people coughing and sneezing out into the air on public transport, spreading germs around. This is what gets when people moan about animals and rodents or whatever. As I was reading something about this, and um, far more germs you get from human beings than ever you get from rodents and it's not them that's destroying the planet it's human beings are we stopping no we're not you know i was looking at a lot of the uh, martel's dolls and even the brats their eyes and they've all got either blue eyes or light brown eyes they've never give one very dark eyes i mean you know people do for a start my father he had black eyes and um because some people do have very, very dark eyes. And uh, especially with some of the... Um, I mean, they've got dolls that are meant to be, Asia, uh, you know, South East Asia, uh, Asian, Korean or J Chinese, Japanese, something like that. And a lot of those people do have very dark, actually black eyes. And yet the dolls always have, like, light golden eyes. Or, and the African-American dolls, they, would, they would ha should have darker eyes than they usually give them. And Tania here... She'd look much nicer with very dark eyes. And the very bright blue eyes they've given her, I just don't think go with her colouring at all. So I have did a bit of artistic licence and um, blackened her eyes. And I think she looked much nicer. I wonder if you can get like stick-on eye, like anime-type circle lenses for the 
Barbies. Just another bit of babbling from me here. It's Tanya can have the last word. Mm, 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 she's saying. Words fail me. I've, I've painted Sasha's earrings with the oh, the, uh, one of the metallic nail zinc nail polishes because I wanted them to match her outfit. And uh, I don't think the silver do. They still look too silver, don't they? But I can't bother to take them off to paint them. And I don't want to get any nail polish on her. Here's the biscuits that's inside this rather nice tin. But unfortunately it's got one of those tops that goes in and then it's difficult to get, to get it out again. Oh, that's rubber, that little thing there. But anyhow, these look very nice. I'm going to have one. Right, let's try Mmm, quite nice.